Hello guys, it's Striker. Welcome back to another video, man. So breaking news, man. Zidane Zidane has officially um, re-signed with uh, Real Madrid as the head coach. Uh, they got rid of Solari, Scolari, whatever you want to call him, man. I apologize, I don't really know his name like that, man. But he got fired. And uh, yeah, man, uh, he wasn't doing a good job. He wasn't doing a good job. I, I figured they would have fired him eventually, but I'm not sure who they was going to replace him with. But they replaced him with uh, Zidane, man. Zidane was... Um, the call for the past, what, three, four years with them, winning, uh, like, three Champions League in a row uh, with them. And so they, they had a fantastic run with them. Um, never really won a league with them. I'm not sure. I don't think they won a Copa del Rey with him either, man. But he was very, very good at winning, like, the international, um, the, the continental cup, man, like Champions League, even the Club World Cup or the Super Cup. Uh, so, yeah, man, Zlatan, uh, Zidane, sorry, Zidane Zidane is back with Real Madrid. Um, it's for me, man. I, I think it's a mix, um, uh, mixed feeling, mixed emotion. Um, he's pretty much. I think he's kind of tarnishing his um, his legacy, man, by retaking Real Madrid. Real Madrid is not good as how they they were a few uh, when he was coaching. At least they had Ronaldo. Ronaldo always clutch, man. He always come up big whenever they need to, especially in the Champions League. And uh, they don't have that right now. They don't have that right now. They got Vinicius Junior. And those guys. And Vinicius Jr. don't really have a shooting, uh, a shooting foot. Uh, Bale hasn't really, like, a lot of people was looking at Bale to really step up to take over from Ronaldo. That didn't happen, mostly coming off the bench. But I think uh, Zidane might do a good job. Zidane never won a league, man. So um, right now, Real Madrid are 12 points behind Barcelona with um, 51 points. Uh, Barcelona had uh, 63 after 27 games. Um, I think I think they uh, and uh, they, well, how many games they won? Real Madrid won like sixteen game, three draws, and six losses, man. So um, I'm not sure, man, because Zidane didn't Zidane. I don't think Zidane ever took the league serious, man. I think he was mostly focused on Champions League and winning Champions League, man. So this time he has to take the league serious because um, this is the only thing they play, they, they got to play for right now. I think it's the only thing they got to play for. He signed like a two two year contract, two three year contract. Um, his contract is supposed to um, up and at the 2001-2022 um, season, man. So they have at least him for like the next two, three years. So I'm not sure if he's going to stick it out and finish the three-year tenor, but time will tell. And um, yeah, man, after winning the uh, three Champions League, I don't think he should have went back because you never know, man. Real Madrid is not good as out there were. And right now, most of their players are pretty, pretty much older. And uh, the young guys hasn't really cut in them, and they, they spent a lot of money on the young guys, especially Vinicius Jr. and and a few other young guys, Rodrigo, who's coming in, I believe, next year or so. So um, I think it should have should never went back, man, because a lot of coaches doesn't really go back to the teams that they coached before, man. Uh, you see what happened to Marino. Marino was one of the greatest uh, Chelsea coach ever. Uh, pretty much won everything with them uh, except the Champions League. And the Europa League, but um, he went back, man. Won a won a uh, Premier League, but after the next season, after that, man, his second year, um, second or third year, thing, things didn't go well with him. Eventually, got uh, got fired, man. So hopefully, we don't see that with um, Zidane Zidane, because Real Madrid are very impatient, and they're not a patient club. They want result. Um, they want to be in the Champions League, and. Uh, they will do anything to uh, if if things not going bad. I think Benitez was doing a very good job before Zidane took over from Benitez. I think Benitez was doing a very good job, but the fans didn't like the way Benitez was um uh, his play style, his uh, tactics. Fans didn't like that, and they got rid of him like that. It was just like crazy. So um, I'm not sure if it's a good decision for Real Madrid. I know a lot of uh, teams out there, a lot of fans out there that wanted Zidane as their coach, like private PSG fans. Probably wanted Zidane as their coach. Same with United fans or probably some other clubs out there. Um, wanted the Zidane, man, but they're not gonna get Zidane. They're not gonna get Zidane. But um, time will tell. See how this turn out, man. But um, good they got rid of Solori. I don't think uh, Solori is a very good coach. I think Zidane. Uh, Zidane. Is, uh, why I'm saying Zlatan? Uh, Zidane is a way better coach than him, man. But um, I think they was trying to get Zidane before, man. Like earlier in the season. Um, try to get him, but uh, I think he didn't really want to take the job until they get knocked out of the Champions League, man. Imagine Zidane took the job and they eventually got beat by Ajax, man. That would have been crazy for him, man. So, um, pretty much only thing he has to focus on the league. I think he's definitely going to help the team make top four. I think um, Bale, everybody going to step up with Zidane, man. I think he has a connection with the players, man. I think they're going to do very well, but uh, let me know what you guys think about this, man. Uh, uh, Zidane back to 
Real Madrid, man. But with that, you boys out of here. Peace.